if to find any substitute <coughs> of the discourse, then department asked me to teach this course because I have taught the operating system uh, several years ago. So I'm not sure whether it was successful at the time, but anyway, so that's the reason <coughs> suddenly <laughs> I am teaching this course. So don't blame me a lot, but I will try to my best to uh, provide the uh, best part of the discourse. Somebody may be curious how, what is the difficult level of discourse. Uh, I'm going, because this is unfortunately course listed with the undergraduate student, I probably focus on the in between the undergraduate and graduate level. Which means if you do not, even though you do not have a background in computer science in your uh, undergraduate major, it will be fine if you work hard. And also, it's not very difficult to uh, pass the uh, this course to get the good grade. So that doesn't mean you can just relax, nothing you do, uh, then the good grade. No. So my grading. Uh, we'll definitely consider how much you guys are doing throughout the semester. Okay? And uh, if you are uh, the as the semester, semester is going on, I'd like to introduce myself more and more. Okay, and uh, if you want to uh, reach me, uh, so you can use an email. My email ID is at reachable.edu. You can remember the first letter of my first name and last name, combination of them, and reachable.edu. It's not my dot reachable. So the faculty has different uh, email for me. Then email is the best way to reach me. However, you can uh, come by my office in case my door is open. But uh, if the door is closed, probably I'm not available. Uh, to meet the student at the time, you can email me to make the appointment. So that will be the best way to find me. I have office hour. I do not update it. <coughs> uh, I will update it soon. Okay, and uh, I have a GA to help me uh, throughout the semester. His name is uh, D. So. Okay. So, if you have, do you want to say anything? Uh, this is my. Uh, Three semester of uh, some uh, math students here, and this is my first oh. semester to be uh, a GA of Professor Lee. So, like you guys, I also have to work hard uh, on this you know, on campus job. So, right, yeah, I will do my best to help you guys. So, yeah, my office hour is Tuesday and Thursday at dinner uh, or uh, dinner hour the two, three, four. So, I hope you to see you guys. Okay. So. When you have any problem, first why don't you contact the GA, then get the most of the help. Usually the GA is better than me, especially the programming part. I'm very old guy, so I like the Fortran Cobra, an old fashioned <laughs> programming language. And but the, I definitely the uh, C will help you on a further uh, project and any other <coughs> issues. Then the, also you can find me. You can also the problem. Uh, I'm going to use uh, this textbook. Have you ever used uh, this one? My son Nicholas, who is uh, eight, nine, this is uh, nine years old. Nine years old. He likes uh, this book because it has a dinosaur. <laughs> so even though this is a nice edition, it's kind of a tradition to use the uh, dinosaur for their book cover. So eighth editions. I used the sixth edition when I started the uh, operating system. Six, fifth, whatever. Anyway, so this is the list, the up to date one. I think that you can if you have the eighth edition, you don't have to purchase the old one, but some students have the eighth edition. Uh, it may be fine most of the contents, but there are additional contents and slightly changing the order. So my lecture will be based on the ninth edition, which means a little bit different from the eighth edition. So I'm not going to provide any 
the table that compare eights and nines. So you need to uh, get a copy of the contents uh, of the ninth edition from your friend, then the compare. And if there exists additional topic like the virtualization or the some real time whatever, so you need to get a copy or the study uh, in addition to the old uh, the eighth edition. I do not recommend to use the seventh and the older one. Okay. So this is my the primary material. So there are a bunch of the uh, operating taxable. For example, in my the book shelf, five or six different one. You can use them, but uh, anyway, my teaching will be based on the this textbook. The first author of the this te textbook, Abraham, uh, he is in the Yale University. So one time I'd like to invite if uh, he agreed. I'm not sure. The, uh, the engineering 400 uh, seminar course. The time he came right into the classroom. And, uh, Okay. However, this is uh, one of the best uh, textbooks in operating system. Even though I'm not the expertise in operating system, I like uh, this textbook. This one is the updated very quickly. Okay. So some of the textbook is nice but too old. So for example, microcontroller is still used uh, 20 years old. So but this one is recently up. Take it by considering the Android or the iOS, something like that. So also not very difficult to understand. Some of the operating system mention about the only the assembly language. Okay, then I know that is on another way to study operating system. But uh, long time ago, we when we study when I studied the operating system. It is critical to understand the uh, IBM comparable PC, 8888, uh, things like that, and uh, everybody should know the assembly language. But nowadays, the, uh, thanks to the virtualization or the new technology, it can be high and it can be abstract, so we don't have to know the details of the machine language. On top of that, we can focus on the different part. For example, one of the success story of the operating system, Android. Android is based, so everybody can utilize Android for their implementation because they provide a nice API and the interface and so on. The, um, I'm not going to uh, handle details of the, such a, uh, the machine language to compile and change the kernel. Instead, we will uh, discuss the diverse area related to the operating system. I strongly uh, suggest to you have the textbook. I don't have to mention about the importance of the uh, textbook. Even though you can get most of the contents from internet or whatever, uh, I, for example, if you go to church, so probably you have the Bible, or the, if you go to the Muslim, so you have the Quran. It's a similar thing. As long as you are in the computer science field, IT or company or whatever, so basic subject textbook is kind of vibe for your entire life. Okay. So still, when I write the paper or the, when I uh, do something, I look up the uh, part of our contents of them. And they also provide a nice uh, uh, the reference, bibliography, so I can use uh, such a thing so for my reference also. Okay. Uh, if you want to So, or there are two websites that you need to keep. Uh, one is the Canvas. So I'm going to use the Canvas, uh, even though this is really very nice. Okay. So this, if you log in the uh, Canvas, you are already in order. Uh, the what is the first name here? Uh, five or three one. 
Okay, no matter which section you register, this is a cursory skip, so you will be the member of the, this one. I'm going to use this one uh, for our the classroom, online classroom tool. Okay, so this is the main page of this one. Then this one has the home page has the open window. Okay, this is the class website. Uh, with my web page at the ubbridgeport.edu domain. So this will not be updated. Okay, this is just for syllabus. So if you want to see the latest information or announcements, including DL student or undergraduate, graduate, all section, you need to go to the Canvas. Then see any of them. This one has just like the other. Uh, class in Canvas, this one has the then this will be much better, right? So it has an assignment section. So assignment this semester I already put the eight of them. Okay? So it's a schedule. I don't think you can open the this file until the not available until uh, one week before uh, we cover that topic. So once it is available, even though I do not mention about the quiz or homework, you need to automatically come the, the, do the homework and submit to the Canvas. Okay? Then if you forgot, so if you late or the I don't I do not change the setting, usually it's available one week after due date. So you can do, uh, you can submit within one week. Okay, mostly it's very easy. It's not just a review the previous uh, the lecture. So you need to check the due date of this one. Okay, and also we will have the two project. Okay, throughout the semester, it's an individual project. Uh, to find the project description, you can go to the file and project. The first one is the everything is on Canvas. Okay? The, this syllabus is the first and last handout uh, over the other. So you need to download and if you want to, you can print out. Nowadays, you don't have the first one is the implementing multi-level feedback queue scheduler that we are going to cover later and uh, you will implement uh, this one. So we are not many of the not many, some of the operating system class in other university they will have, they may have the project that the rebuild the corner okay with some modification okay but my feeling is most of the time uh, the student need to follow just instruction. Okay? There's nothing new in terms of the algorithm. I think that is because I am from the computer science. Okay? So I'd like to more focus on the algorithm part. Whether you can understand the especially the scheduling algorithm, whether you guys can implement it using any programming language. I usually do not uh, limit the program language. So you can use the C C++, Java, even including machine language. If you want, you can use any program language to implement uh, this algorithm. Then the second project is we will have a time to discuss more about this one once we finish the The second part is a port over file system. It's a little bit confusing. But anyway, you will realize the file system itself is a part of the operating system. In other words, that's the software. It's the application. Okay? What is the application, by the way? What is the software? 
It's a program that you can run Combine. on um, the is a program, program, right? Or right. okay. application, that's also. Running on top of operating system. So application is the program, user program, okay? Yes. Running on top of operating system that can serve for user requests. For example, I'd like to edit the file for my the diary. At that time, you can use Microsoft Word. Or if you have the, some scheduler, you can use such a program. I want to manage the bunch of huge amount of data. At the time, you can use what kind of application? DBMS. You can use DBMS for your company or the personal management. Right? What about? I have a bunch of files in my operating system. I definitely need five system software. Whether or not you realize when you are using when you are using the computer, you are using five system software. What can be the example? FAT Explorer is the another type of application to connect web server. You mean the micro of the explorer? Yeah. Yes, but it's uh, on top of file system. It's the uh, interface. Okay. F8032, F8016, network file system, U Unix file system, UFS, EX22, EX4. There are a bunch of different file systems. Some of them are open source free, sometimes not. You need to pay. So you are going to implement such a all over file system on top of existing operating system. Then there might be a requirement. Who will learn what kind of requirement you need to build a file system? This one, when I used this the project long time ago, when I taught the operating system at the time, many students are confusing. Also, they ask, why do we need such a thing? But Think about the Hadoop system. Have you ever heard about the Hadoop system, Big Data system? No, never, ever. Hadoop, Big Data. Big Data is one of the hot issues in IT area nowadays. So when you try to get a job in around the information technology or the computer science, so one of the hardest area is definitely the Hadoop system. Hadoop has uh, two main components. One is the map readers program, parallel program. So it's a program application. Another one is file system too. Hadoop distributed file system on top of existing operating system. It's quite similar one. So you, it's a simple file system so that you are going to implement. So I will we will discuss more in detail when we cover the uh, file system part. So, to project. And also, all lecture notes are available through the canvas. So, for example, today we are going to use chapter 10. Very hard. <laughs> so, you see. so you can find the lecture note uh, from here with the PDF version. But unfortunately, today it's not easy to see. Anyway, we will a uh, little bit discuss about it. Okay, then, please. Mm, first time I the plan to have the online exam for all students, which means uh, Canvas provide the online quiz. I have used such a tool during the summer. 
flood department uh, prefer if possible so instructor need to have the on campus in classroom exam so probably I'm not going to use this one only for the online degree student can take the uh, face through the campus so you don't have to worry about this and this in case there is uh, issues of the extreme weather, probably snowy day uh, at the end of the semester. The time, uh, if our pace is good enough to cover the last of the topic, I will cancel the class based on the uh, school notification. Otherwise, I will use the uh, online the video conferencing tool provided by the Canvas. So, but I never use the new tool. This is new one, so I will be familiar. I will uh, again use the, this one and we'll let you know in case we need such a thing. Any questions so far? Yes. Uh, about the assignment, we can only do it for one time or several times. For what? The assignment. Assignment? Yeah, on Canvas. Uh, I think that you can resubmit until the due date. Resubmit? Okay. Yes. But uh, the main purpose of the, this assignment is not only for grade. The first reason I assigned the success speech is that I'd like to give the more opportunity to the student to review the lecture. So I believe that my student will be very, very smart, so can remember everything. But sometimes not, <laughs> because you want to enjoy the time then. So this is a good time for review. So do not. Uh, please try to uh, copy other uh, guys the homework or quiz. So it's just a waste of time. So in case I catch or GA catch the such a copy and paste or any cheating, uh, I will definitely directly report to the department. And then the department will uh, take care of your case. And automatically it will uh, fail the rest of the semester. Okay. Yes? What, the, uh, rating, what is the operating system that we focus on? Uh, not specific part, but uh, we will have the, some practice for the Windows at the Linux system. Okay? The most part will be the Not the most part. So we will focus on the general algorithm of the operating system. Then the, we will uh, discuss about the case by case. And the full exercise lab, uh, I do, don't decide yet how, ma how many times we have exercise lab, but in case we have exercise lab, uh, we will use the Linux system. Okay. And the, the project too, you ask me to do that in the Windows NT? Uh, that means it should be running on Windows, but uh, it doesn't matter. If you want to build uh, Linux based, yeah. same, no problem. Okay? It was. So when I offered the last time, it was only for Windows, but uh, some of the students write to build the application on top of the Linux system, totally fine. Okay. Any other question so far? Okay, so let's start. So I think the Operating system. What kind of? How, what is the anyway operating system? It's an algorithm. File system. File system. We already mentioned about it. Permission. So, do you use the operating system in your daily life? Yes. Yes, I think so. So, for example, uh, it's a very old one, but anyway, it's kind of a smartphone. This one has an operating system. So what is the main role of, what kind of oper operating system I use? It's an Android, and you cannot remember that it's a gingerbread or whatever. Anyway, it's an Android operating system. And what about you? Do you use any operating system in your daily life? So probably, not only one, <laughs> just one, probably you have the cell phone, you have a laptop, you have computer. If you are working, you have office computer. Each of them has different operating system. What is the main role of the operating system? What is that? 
Why do you need operating system for your laptop, for your uh, smartphone? Store, store yes. Yes. Interface. 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 To inter interact with the machine. Machine. That means, mm -hmm. if machine is really smart, really smart, which means, when I say something, when I ask you, you probably understand, then you react, right? So please go out. Then he will go out, right? No? You don't want to go out of the classroom. <laughs> so there is a react. We don't need any the specific tool or the, the machine to communicate, OK? Unfortunately, it's not easy, even almost impossible, to directly communicate with the machine, OK? Such as computer, even though you have the the very fancy, nice, very expensive, the smartphone, without operating system, you cannot use them. Because computer can understand only the binary language, machine language, a very, very low level language. Okay? So, it's, what is the basic operation? It's a zero one one binary operation. Then, we try to represent a very complicated algorithm where the, uh, the order or command by with the combination of a zero or one sequence. How can we organize that? We need data structure. If you uh, took my course before, or if you are taking my course, I probably mentioned many, many times the importance of the data structure. So most of the actually, we can say most of the topic that you are going to deal with in the computer science department that are related to data structure. Operating is the same. So many of the operating system class focus on the engineering hardware part that you learn in the microcontroller or whatever, or machine learning assembly. But not much algorithm part. However, operating system itself is to provide a bunch of the data structure that can communicate between human being and computer. So human being, me, would like to use computer what? Resource power. Because computer can process very, very fast. How much fast? What is the basic operation unit of computers? What is it? Instruction. Okay? Instruction. So, in other words, we will see details about it. So today is just an overview of operating system. So, let's go back to the basic. Okay? When you are using computer, for example, first, I need to turn on the computer. What happens? When you turn on the computer, virus. Virus? Virus. Virus. What is a virus? It's an operating system. It's a program of the motherboard. Why do you need a virus program? Because the same reason. You cannot do anything for the computer okay, without such an interface between human being and machine. Because they are, if I hate actually machine. If I have the money, I throw it over the machine. <laughs> so then, however, without the, such a machine, computer, without, this one is also the same. Even though it doesn't look like the computer, it has a chip. So it should have software, something. Doesn't fancy, doesn't look like fancy or complicated like the operating system that you have, but it has uh, something. So, when you turn on the computer, the first pro program running on that machine is a virus program. What is the main role of the virus program? First, the hardware. What is the motherboard? He mentioned about the motherboard. That we can install the components, CPU and memory. So when you were a baby, probably you learned most of the things 
your life is related to your mother, right? <laughs> Everything that you have in your computer are connected to the mother. It's the board. It's a universal board. Everything is connected, which means when you turn on the computer, you should know what kind of device are connected, including CPU, memory, everything, hard drive, everything. So BIOS program, first check the such a device and the capacity, whether this is the Pentium or whether this is the uh, one gigabyte, two gigabyte, check then. Another important role of such a BIOS program is, so can you do any other thing with a BIOS program? No, actually not. That's a simple program to check the, your device and call the main operating system, okay? It can be anything. So mostly BIOS program is rely on the hardware, it can be updated because it's a program, it's a firmware program. So it can be updated, but it's a simple program. However, that program, that is the reason. If you click the F8, you can find the option to start. So if you have the multiple operating system, you can specify. Also, if you want to use a USB, which has operating system, you can we change the booting option. So it has the booting location or booting option. So by using BIOS program, when you turn on the computer, BIOS program will check the all the uh, devices and the direct. So call the first program of the your system, that's the operating system. Then what is operating system? Operating system is, is it hardware? No, no, is it software? Location. Yes, it's purely software. So, sometimes it doesn't make sense why operating system discuss in engineering part only. Because actually, the operating system itself is the entire 100% software program. So, in other words, operating system can be defined as a group of set of bunch of programs. That's the operating system. Okay. Then, so BIOS program knows the uh, where the operating system is located. It's in the C drive, for example. Then, how can you find what happened when once you realize the location of the operating system? It will look for master good record, okay? You should know what will be the first program. You should know, right? Where you can find the where is the first program? This master boot record has the address of such a first program, which is what? Corner program that we will we'll discuss later a little bit more. Okay, so master boot record is the specific area of your device, hard disk drive, USB, whatever. It has the specific area. It's called a uh, master boot record. Mm -hmm. It has the address, location, name of the first file that should be executed on your operating system. That is corner program. Everybody actually know it's, but never thought about the entire process all together. So this is a good time to quickly summarize computer architecture and such a uh, operating system, basic idea of uh, operating system. So what is the kernel program then? Is it hardware? No, it's a program. Two people we discussed about the kernel program we better discuss about what is a program. List of instructions. List of instructions. You took my class before, right? <laughs> <laughs> so program is a list of instructions. It's a sequence of instruction. Unfortunately, computer, even though you have the very high-end, very expensive computer,
computer can understand it has a basically CPU processor, hard disk drive, and memory, and so on. Then CPU is the most important one, central processing unit, as name implies. Right? So central processing unit. So when you submit the, your program, your job, it should be processed by the CPU. How can the CPU process your request? It's through the program. The, because program has the list of the sequence of the instruction. Did you code it? Mostly not. Who make that code? Compiler. Human being is not that smart to directly code the entire assembly code. Instead, we prefer high level language like the English stars. Okay? C, C plus plus Java. It's not close to the computer. Every company, every program language, they try to make the language simple and easy, which means it's close to the human language. That's the high level language that this should be changed into, converted into machine instruction. Why? Because that's the only way that computer machines understand. So it's compiled. So we will di uh, discuss later details about the compiler also. So after it's a change, it's a move toward the code, the register. So I'm not going to discuss details about the computer architecture. Uh, I believe that you know that. And if you forgot some of them, why don't you go back to your home then, look, for, look up the computer architecture. Actually, it's good for you, definitely. Then, it's a series of instructions. So I compile the source file into the program. I have an executable file. Now how can I use uh, such a program? You need to execute. That will be pro process, right? Then, what is a process? Program is a series of instructions. Where is it located? Program itself is in the hard disk drive. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason Master Boot Record should know the first program, where it is. It's an address. Then, how can I use such a program? It has the series, the sequence of instruction for what? CPU central process unit. CPU processor would like to read and do something, process that instruction by instruction. Can CPU read the instruction from hard disk drive? Yes? No? No. Yes? It's loading the memory first. No. Load, loading the memory first. Why? First. Because? It's first communication. Gap of speed. CPU, how fast CPU can process? For, for example, I have the 2.6 gigahertz uh, CPU. What does it mean, 2.6 <coughs> gigahertz? Hertz means how many times in and up, up and down, right? Cycle, cycle means in one cycle, CPU can process set of register information, okay? It's so one cycle. 2.6 gigahertz means one second, how many times? 2.6 gigahertz cycle, so fast. What about hard disk drive? What consists of a hard disk drive? <coughs> we have a disk, spin. spin, you need to motor, it's called a spindler, and also you need to have arm moving forward and backward. Do you think it will be faster? <laughs> no, definitely not. It's a physical movement. Okay? Well, well, even though you have the 10,000 RPM, what does it mean, 10,000 IPM? 10,000 rotation per minute. per minute. But it needs 
in and out, and there's a huge latency, sick time latency. It's several seconds sometimes. <coughs> so CPU useless. Why it is waiting for response from the uh, hard side CPU? You cannot get the benefit of the CPU. So to reduce the gap, for Neumann suggests what if we use faster device in between? It's a for Neumann computer architecture. He proposed such idea long time ago even. It's a simple idea, it changed a lot in computer environment. So we need memory as a cache. So we can upload such a program instruction to the memory, then right now it's ready. CPU is ready to read such an instruction without waste of time. Then the instruction loaded into the memory is called process. So first part of the operating system class, we will talk about what is the process. It's the most important part because CPU is, the, as you know, the most important part of the computer. Then we should know how CPU process such an instruction. So it's the process management. What is the process? Loaded image to the memory. It's a program but in the memory. Then CPU can do it. It's the same thing when you boot the system. Kernel is the program. Somebody compiled. Kernel is compiled, then have the set of the instruction. Okay? Then master boot record has the location, address of that program. Then that will be automatically loaded into the memory CPU with the instruction from them. That's the starting of your operating system, right? Then, what is the main job of the operator kernel program? It includes core to operate, to run your program, the, your computer is a core part of the program. As big as possible, or as small as possible, which one? Big or small? Which one is better? Small. small. It's not easy to say, but the mostly small is the better. Why? If you have the, you put everything in the corner, it takes a long time and it's a waste of resource. It consumes memory, it consumes CPU. So, do the better have the small corner? Usually, that is the reason small has. Also, corner will be the First process. First process. Then, what about the second process? How can you make the second process? So, most of the operating system provide system core. System core means it's kind of an API. It's an already built-in function. So usually 100 to 200 different functions are built-in functions to operate your system. So when you start a kernel program, then if you want another process, there is a specific the system core. This, for example, fork exe for create process in Windows. So using that one, you can make the copy of the kernel program exactly the same. Just like the my mom and dad make me, I'm from the my parents, right? Same thing, when you create the processor, it's not the new one. It's just copy of the first process. Then give the separate permission to use the resource. Actually, so all the processes running on the operating system, they are the same, <laughs> starting from the same. That is the process and process management. So first half, uh, first part of the operating system, we will discuss in details about uh, this kind of thing. So second part. So I mentioned about a little bit, the, what is a process? What is a process? Process is the, memory, using memory. Then, 
memory is is faster so it can reduce the gap between the CPU speed and hard disk drive problem is it's expensive expensive than what? hard drive so from time to time I mention in the operating system class not only operating system other class if we, we can have the unlimited resource we don't have to learn the this kind. The operating system book will be a couple of pages if we have unlimited resources. Unfortunately, we have very, very limited resources. I want to do a bunch of things. I want to email to my family. I like to watch the movie at the same time. All, and I would like to keep all the information worldwide. But unfortunately, you cannot have the, such a computer. Okay. Since we have a very limited resource, we need to coordinate, we need to control, we need to be fair, not uniformly fair, depending on the priority, we need to consider. But memory is the same thing. Memory, even though you have 4 gigabyte, 8 gigabyte, do you satisfy with your computer? I never seen the person who satisfy with the let their own computer even though they have the 2,000, 3,000, 10,000 always complain why? because it's limited so we should use smart, intelligent use such a limited resource especially for memory everybody knows so the bigger is the better yeah the bigger is the better however not always we need to smart to use such a limited resource that is the second part of the operating system, how to utilize the maximum of the memory resource. So memory management. In terms of what? The algorithm. Okay? So we can give the uniform same amount of memory for each process. You think it's a fair? It's a fair, but depends on, right? So there are a bunch of different so mostly when your system is slow, you need to think about the whether my memory management is working very well. Mostly when your mem what if so I have this amount of memory, but it's all of them are used. If I have the new process, what's the option? You need to flush off. You need to replace existing one. How can you replace? You need to get down this instruction or set of instruction in the memory to hard disk drive it will require i o input and i o which is very very slow that makes the your computer slower and slower so we should find we are going to find memory management good memory management then first process then memory then next time hard disk drive Everybody know hard disk drive and I/O disk I/O are is a bottleneck of the computer processing. In other words, if we can use such a, if we can speed up this drive or the, any algorithm, your our system computer will be easier and faster and better. So, last part of the third part of the operating system. How can we manage such a file? Then what's a file? Do you have file? Yes, I have file. This is uh, even the file of this. In terms of computer science, what is a file? File is? Yes, that's data structure. I probably mentioned many, many times most of my question and because everything that you are learning in the computer science subject are related to the data structure if that is not related if you can make any machine or computer which doesn't require any data structure you will get the Nobel Prize and you will be uh, irrigated definitely unfortunately data structure is the only way so file is a data structure for what? Many data it's a big string when you open any file actually it's a combination of 0 or 1 but 
some, you can say this is a word file. This is an image file. This is a PDF file. How can you say this is a PDF file? What is the difference? They have different format, different data structure. So when you open the text file, text file has bunch of ASCII code. Okay, ASCII code is an ANSYS standard to represent alphabet, basic the alphanumeric data, right? So it has number. So number is converted into the what? 16 a binary code eventually. Then also it has something special character. You can see the different paragraph. How can you recognize this one and this one, for example? Well, so this one and this one is a different uh, sentence, different paragraph. It's a new line. In computer, it's uh, just a special character. For example, I like to put the star as the new line. Whenever you see, just when you display, actually this is the same as uh, like this, but when you display, whenever you see the, this one, the new line. So this is a file. Each file has, it's a data structure to keep the data, B3. Each file has different format, different data structure. Actually, in Unix or Linux, it's the new line character, slash n. In the Windows, it's the line feeder, LF, because of